Hey babes. Can you take a bite of that apple for me please? No. Come on, let me see what you're working with. Dude, look at this. Come on. <laughs> what? Oh, it's not as dark as the other one. No, but it's still pink. That's crazy. Hey, little Mai Fi. Mai, you ate breakfast and then you've had treats. You don't get more food because we're making breakfast. Where's my girl, Brew? I need this. What is up, guys? Today is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. I'm still sick. I'm sicker now than I was the last couple days. My so bus that. Hurts. Yeah. That sucks. Travis and I are both still a mess. Um, quickly making breakfast and making some avocado toast, having an apple, having some Morning Star breakfast sausage patties. So they're not actually real sausage, they're veggie patties. And then I'm gonna go pick Gia up from school. We have her wedding cake tasting today, which I know for sure I'm gonna go. I don't know if Travis is actually gonna make it, but we'll see. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I probably won't take you guys inside, but I'll at least tell you guys how it went. No, we'll take you inside. We'll see. go taste our wedding cakes which I'm super excited about we're actually doing donuts instead of cake but we're gonna do like a little cake to cut so we are headed off to a place called seven little cupcakes in Perrysburg to try out their cake I had originally scheduled this appointment just for me to be able to go honestly because Travis doesn't even like cake but it worked out since he's still off he's gonna come with me so I will show you guys when we get there We just had some bomb cuppy cakes, man. Babe, did you like your cupcakes? I did. You think we're gonna have a good wedding cake? Yes, I do. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, don't hit any potholes, please. I won't. Guys ask all the time how I get my hair this color. So I get highlights and then the key after you get highlights is really taking care of your hair. So I use matrix brass off and i will show you guys it's actually a dark purple shampoo okay so literally that's the color of the shampoo so that's what keeps my hair looking so like purplish grayish blue like having that cool blonde tint so i usually will wash it with purple shampoo like twice a week. So I wash my hair almost every single day um, because I go to the gym and I sweat and I sweat a lot. So I end up washing my hair every time. So two to three times a week and I let this soak on for a few minutes. So I don't just like scrub it in and wash it right off. I let it sit for a few minutes. I mean, nothing crazy, but like that gives me time to like shave my legs and wash my face and whatever. Like I just let it sit on there. And then I also use Matrix Conditioner um, and it's it'll look just like this, but it has a pink label on it and it's called, I think, So Vibrant. So this one's called the Brass Off um, and 
the other conditioner I use is called So Vibrant. And then when I'm not using this shampoo, I use the So Vibrant um, shampoo also. I got this really cute set, which actually the funny thing is, it said it was <clears throat> going to be $29. It rang up for $14.50. Now, I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So normally just one of these face masks is $25. But the whole set was, as you can see, $29, a $48 value that I literally got for $14.50. So that was bomb. This is like a makeup remover. Super excited about that. And then, yeah, that's a face mask. I have another one, the berry one, and I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to try that tonight. Then I swear by this face lotion. It is the best face lotion ever. I felt like it has helped my face clear up so much. <laughs> She's getting it, see? That's why doggies have long tongues. <laughs> oh, she got it. Look, like she can get her, she can lick her nose, see? Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, and I'm starting a new vlog. I'm probably going to go through all of this week. Um, today, we have our caterer testing for our wedding, and then... This week I'm going to Columbus and also starting my new job, so I'm going to be in Columbus Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I thought it might be kind of fun to take you guys along, and obviously I'll be in training most of the day, but I think I have some fun things planned while I'm there. So I thought that would be fun, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly start out this week's vlog. Again, today is Saturday. We are headed off right now to go test our food with our caterer for our wedding, so we've had this food several times before, but when you go to sign up with a company for your wedding. They always offer a free tasting. So we're going to take it as our breakfast slash lunch today because um, we didn't have breakfast yet. So that's about it. I am just, I just got finished up getting ready. Great, great. Thanks, babe. So anyhow, I will take you guys along with me and I'll see you in a little bit. How's my patient today? I'm doing better. It just feels good to be able to get out of the house. I really don't like you driving all that much. But I'm good. I'm a good yeah, nurse you've been driver. Yeah, you doing good, but I just still don't like you driving. Uh, <laughs> you were going to say I don't like you. No, I just don't like you driving. It's a male dominus mm -hmm. thing. Like, I'm supposed to drive everywhere. You sit in the passenger seat. I know it's 2020. I'm not going to offend all you people out there. Look at my highlight But, today. I mean, if good. you guys look back, there's probably only a select few of you that will be watching this vlog that has a mom and a dad that the mom drives and the dad rides in the passenger seat. But Always I'm a, dad But drives. I'm a badass. Yeah, yeah so it's but you got to watch your language, babe. You're on the vlog. You can't say ass. Yes, I can. On plus side, um, I slept pretty decent. Um... My, your spirits my nurse, are lifted, Yeah, right? my nurse gave me a glass of wine last night. I was pretty sure it was against the rules, but... Hey, babe. What's up? What? I'm out of here. Bye. Are you excited for your taste testing? Mm -hmm. I am. Some good barbecue. Look at them smokers. That smokers are huge back there. Soda pop time. tasting it went great we have tons of leftovers actually to 
eat um, this week. But like I said, I'm gonna be in Columbus. So right now I'm just trying to get some things ready for Travis for this week while I'm gone. Since he can't like bend over or cook or anything, I'm just trying to make him some easy stuff to throw in the microwave. So I am gonna do some bulk crock pot shredded chicken. So this recipe can literally be used in anything. Tacos, flatbreads, um, pasta. I make all different types of stuff with this. So it's really simple to do. Literally all I'm going to do is take some chicken breast, throw it in the crock pot. It doesn't matter how many you use. I'm gonna throw in some chicken broth as well as some seasonings. Um, so I'll show you guys what I use. But I'm gonna get, go ahead and get the chicken breast in here and get that all ready. And then I'm gonna probably go ahead and go to the gym here in a little bit. Maybe hang out at the house and then go to the gym. Um, but yeah, I took quite a few days off the gym this week. I went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I had been sick since like last Friday. And finally it just like hit me where I just was miserable. I was so tired. I couldn't breathe. I was coughing like crazy. And my body just seriously needed rest. And I feel so much better today. Finally, yesterday I had a crazy migraine. Just felt horrible. So I'm still a little bit congested, but definitely, definitely feeling so much better today. Feeling well enough to get my butt to the gym. So quickly, I am making some shredded chicken in the crock pot. And I get so many questions on this recipe. So I've got five fresh chicken breasts in the crock pot right now. You can use as many or as few as you want. And now I'm just going to throw some seasonings in. This is just multi-purpose shredded chicken. So you can use this in anything. Um, so anyhow, chicken breasts are in. I'm going to take a little bit of chicken broth. This helps keep it moist. Um, and helps get the chicken nice and tender. And I just like to kind of almost like cover up the chicken breasts. And then... I do a packet of this Saison seasoning. My mom suggested this. This is like her secret. You can get this in like the ethnic food aisle. Um, so it has this like red color to it. Makes your chicken look really pretty. It's not spicy or anything. It's just a blend of like multi-purpose seasonings, but it's red. The next adobo, it's another multi-purpose multi -purpose seasoning that I'm just going to spread over the top. This nice sprinkle. You literally can't hurt this chicken. Um, you can do a bunch of different seasonings and you really can't hurt it. And then just some garlic powder. Sprinkle that over the top. So I use this in pasta, flatbreads, um, tacos, whatever. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Italian dressing. Just a little bit. It just helps give it a little extra flavor. And then I'm going to cook this on high for three to four hours um, since we're going to have this for dinner. But you can do it on low for six to seven hours as well. What do you got? I already got out. Oh, we'll get back in there and show us what you got. Dude, don't be hating on my video game. I'm not hating on your video game. I'm glad you found something to do. Uh -huh. So I got my McLaren. I got a Lamborghini. I got a 6x6 G-Wagon Square. And I got a lifted Super Duty. I'm being fat and lazy. This little fur ball. Hi, mice. What are you doing? You just hanging out with Dad today? Oh, yeah. Get your booty shaking butt up. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to head off to the gym finally. It is about 4 o'clock, so I'm going to head off to the gym just for an hour or so. And quickly wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. So, first off, we have this crop top. This is from Paragon. I think I actually had all three pieces I'm wearing today in my active wear favorites video, but I still like to throw it out there in case you guys didn't watch that video. So I'm wearing a medium. This is the Columbia crop. Absolutely love it. It's just so flattering. Um, and then I'm wearing my Rosa Sports bra from Buff Bunny. Love this one. It just doesn't have a lot of like seams. And this one is like, it's very compressive, but it's also extremely flattering too. So it just looks good with this crop top. So I'm wearing a medium in that as well. And then my Lululemon Align leggings. These are the black camo. or the I think they're like actually gray camo. But... They're black. Um, and then my headband is from a store on Etsy. Um, if you guys are interested in a link for the headband, 
message me or drop a comment below. What is up guys? So I totally forgot to take my vlog camera with me. But anyhow, it is about 11.30 and I just went out for a little bit. Um, my best friend and maid of honor in my wedding got engaged today. So today is Saturday. So very exciting and a big congratulations to her. So super nice to go out and have a drink since I've been stuck in the house with <laughs> goofball. Why are your pants undone? Because I'm, I'm going to get undressed and go to bed. Love you. Ow! Travis, that literally hurts so freaking bad. For whatever reason, these straps on this freaking bodysuit hurt so bad to snap. I don't know what it is. They're like very stretchy, like rubber bands almost. But they hurt like nothing else. Good morning, guys. Actually, it's almost good afternoon. It is 11 o'clock. Um, just woke up, got in the shower, made the bed, came out to make some coffee. Typically, I am not a huge coffee drinker. I usually do energy drinks in the morning. Um, but I do really like this coffee over cardio birthday cake coffee. It is my favorite when I do drink coffee. So I thought I'd mix it up today. Um, I have so much stuff to do today. I'm kind of stressing out this morning before I go back to work tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the gym today. I'm not stressed now. I think I'm just gonna have like a nice chill last day off. Um, I'm gonna throw a crock pot recipe in the crock pot. I'm gonna make some soup and that's about it. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my crock pot soup recipe. So of course I had to quickly run to the store because I forgot chicken broth. So in here right now I have three cups of chicken broth. I have one big chicken breast. Um, I like to get the, not necessarily like organic, but a chicken breast that has all the extra fat cut off. Um, and then I have half a cup of roasted red peppers. And now I'm just gonna add some seasonings and then later on you end up putting in the noodles and all that good stuff. But I'm just gonna do a little montage of me putting in the seasonings and stuff. Um, and I will post the link to this recipe in the description box below. So I hope that you guys enjoy.
Bruce home from her first day at work. Just little does she know that I already got the package out front. So we get to wait and we get to get her coming in. Bruce home from her first day at her new job. Woo -hoo. Hi babes. What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Who are you yelling at out there? Ted. Uh oh. Ted was wondering how I'm doing. Yeah, I said you wouldn't be surviving without Beth. Yeah. How was your first day at work, babes? Right. Look at all your new gear you got. Yeah. Woo! Exciting, exciting. What is up guys? Happy Monday. I just got back from my first day at work and came home to my Alani new box which shipped so quickly. I ordered it like Friday afternoon and it's already here. So I took part in the Valentine's Day limited edition box as well as I got another supplement. So I'm going to open it up with you guys and I used Desby's code for free shipping which was awesome. So the box is super super cute. This is my first time trying protein from Alani new. I'm super excited. I got the chocolate caramel. Everybody said it was really good. So we're going to try that. And then I got the pre-workout. This is a pink guava. Des also recommends this one all the time. And I needed some new pre-workout. I hadn't gotten any supplements literally since like the Arnold last year. I got this really cute little Valentine's Day card. You're allowed to have your cake and eat it too on this sweet day. And then... I got this really cute box of fancy limited edition Alani New chocolates. So, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. The aftermath of filming, Rue. Look at that little smile we got going. Shooting out random shit all over. You know, let's bring the lunchbox in here. It, usually I put you have a fiance. Usually I put my camera on that. I, just because I can't walk doesn't mean I can't stand for 30 seconds. What is up guys? So today is still Monday. Today was my first day at my new job. I am actually... Sorry about that. I am actually <laughs> packing. Um, So I'm going to be gone through Thursday. So I need like three days worth of clothes and such. Got some gym gear all packed up as well. I already packed my gym bag, packed my protein powder. Um, as you could tell from earlier, I got new Alani new protein powder. And I got new Alani new pre-workout powder. Um, got that stuff all packed up um, as well as my snack bag to take some healthy snacks with me as well as my Alani new energy drinks. Um, so I've got all that stuff ready to go. I'm just packing my toiletries and like some last minute items like chargers and such. Um, it is already like 8.30 and I really wanted to get to bed around 9, 9.30 but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I'm still adjusting to getting home later from work and going later to work if that makes sense but also having a longer drive. So I'm still adjusting to all that. I have a two and a half hour drive to Columbus tomorrow um, for my training so Yes, that was it. I just wanted to hop on and kind of fill you guys in. It's been a crazy few days for me. I'm just trying to get Travis ready since he still can't really do much on his own. So just getting like food ready for him around the house and me getting ready for my new job today and then some packing and such. Good morning guys. Today is Thursday and today is my last day in Columbus. Um, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning and I am about to go downstairs and get some breakfast, put my stuff in the car, um, and check out of my hotel. So I definitely wanted to take you guys around more on my trip here, but it was literally just so busy. I was running from one place to the next. So I had training down here for three days. Um, and like every day afterwards, I was running around. I had errands to run. Um, and we went out to dinner the last two nights as well. So I was just like busy and I just did not have any time to get up or get out my vlog camera. So anyhow, I did want to show you guys how much freaking snow that we've gotten here, which of course, like, we haven't gotten really any snow this year and we got like a blizzard, like, the day I'm traveling home, of course. So, <clears throat> it's looking very winter-esque this morning. So, 
sorry guys i don't have like my tripod with me well i have it but i'm not gonna get it out for like five minutes of filming or two minutes of filming um but anyhow the roads are gonna suck on the way home for sure and they're gonna suck on my way to work tomorrow i guess i could show you guys my hotel room really quick so i just had like two double beds i had a tv i had a really nice desk place to set my suitcase a little armoire, a little ice water station, and coffee. That reminds me, I need to get my face mask out of here. So I got this really cool face mask from Lush. It was amazing. My, fla my face looks so clear, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And this is what I'm wearing today. Just a really cute pink lily pullover um, and my favorite American Eagle Kirby jeans. And then, as you can see, my face right now is super dang clear. The only spot I have is one I had, like, before um, I even came here. And this was the bathroom. Very nice. They actually had just renovated, um, I guess, this floor this week. They, like, finished renovating it. So everything was very nice. Um... But that's it. I went to Easton Mall, which is like one of the higher end malls on Tuesday. I got a new sports bra from Lululemon. Alright guys, so a quick nice addition to the vlog. I have a quick little try on for you guys from Boss Lady Apparel. So last week when I was in Columbus, I met up with Maggie, who is the owner of Boss Lady Apparel. And she so kindly gifted me a few items, so I wanted to show you guys. First off, we have this really nice crew neck. This is a size medium. It fits me perfect. I like that it's a little bit oversized. I feel like the small might be a little bit like too tight on my arm. So definitely glad that she gave me the medium. Um, it has like an athletic type material feel to the outside and a super duper um, soft fleece inside. So that is the first piece. Next up, I just have this really cute crop top. I'm wearing a size medium and everything, by the way, if I didn't say that. It's a super stretchy, soft fabric. It's not like a normal cotton crop top. I personally like my crop tops a little bit bigger and oversized, but you could definitely like get a small and obviously it would be tighter, but I like the fit of this. And then these amazing, super stretchy, super soft, super like lightweight feeling, not super constricting feeling, which I love. Um, wearing these in a size medium, these are the seamless leggings. Don't mind my slippers. Um, and then everything has this really cute crown detail on the back which i absolutely love so this shirt comes in multiple colors as well this pink color as well you guys can also use code aurora10 at checkout from boss lady um the info for the website will be in the description box below and thank you so much maggie and boss lady apparel for providing me with these really cute clothes to be able to wear and show off to everybody. I love being able to support my friends and small businesses and hope that you guys will too.